Hello friends, in the last video we have seen how to graph a function f of x equal to log to the base a of x. In particular, we have seen two kinds of graphs or two kinds of divisions. When our a is between 0 and 1, the graph has one form and when a was greater than 1, the graph has the other form. In particular, what we have seen is if the graph of exponential function for a less than 1 that is the graph of a raised to x for a less than 1 is given by a red line then you can actually reflect this graph along the blue line which is y is equal to x and get the corresponding graph for log to the base a of x when 0 less than a less than 1. In a similar manner when a is greater than 1 the matters are matter is very easy and uh, you sim there is there is because there is no intersection you can simply reflect the red line along the blue line to get the green line and the final graphs will look like this so this is the this is the case where my a is greater than 1 and this is the case where 0 less than a is less than 1 in particular we have already seen some sim something similar in the when we studied exponential functions in particular we will try to list all the properties of this graph of exponential function so let us start our journey of listing the properties of graph of logarithmic function so first thing is the domain of the function as it is an inverse function of exponential function is open interval 0 to infinity and the range of a function is real line when you studied exponential function the intercept was 0 1 here the x intercept is 1 0 and there was no x intercept here there is no y intercept because simply because it is reflection along y is equal to x line then you had a vertical uh, in when you studied exponential function you had a horizontal asymptote that is x axis was your asymptote in this case you will have a vertical asymptote and that is x is equal to 0 is the line it is easily visible over here for example if you look at this green line the vertical asymptote is towards the positive side of infinity that is positive side of y axis and if you look at this particular picture it is towards negative side of y, uh, y axis so these are the typical features that you can uh, you will understand when you look at the graph of a logarithmic function then naturally this is the inverse function of a one to one function so it is one to one and it passes through two points if you recollect the exponential function was passing through point 0 1 and 1 a so naturally this function will pass through points 1 0 and a 1 all the time so these are the two static points whenever you consider a graph of a logarithmic function as it is visible from the graph for 0 less than a less than 1 this green curve is actually a decreasing function and for a greater than 1 this green curve is actually an increasing function so that those properties naturally boil down to for 0 less than a less than 1 the function is decreasing and for a greater than 1 the function is increasing so these are important properties of graph of logarithmic function so while drawing the graphs of logarithmic function in a standard form you should always remember whether you are satisfying these properties or not that is a cross check whether your answer is correct or not so let us enhance our knowledge by taking an example of drawing a graphs drawing a graph is not correct Dra drawing graphs of the functions the drawing the graphs of the functions fx is equal to minus log to the base 4 of x plus 1 and gx is equal to log to the base 1 by 4 of minus x plus 1 now you remember the domains the domains of the function so here if i want to draw a graph let us take the function fx here if i want to take a graph of fx so first let us understand how the graph of log to the base 4 
of x will look like in order to understand this let us go to the properties is a the base greater than 1 or less than 1 this is the first concern so my base is greater than 1 so the function should be increasing okay uh, naturally the function is 1 to 1 and my curve should pass through 1 0 and 4 1 correct and I should have vertical asymptote at x is equal to 0 naturally the function is actually increasing that means I will come from down to up and therefore the, uh, the and obviously x intercept is 1 0 domain of x is 0 to infinity range of f is r so keeping all these things in mind let me draw a quick sketch of this graph log to the base 4 of x so let me change the color and it will be like this this is an asymptote then it will pass through this point and you know what this point is and then it will be like this this is this is the basic understanding it should pass through point one zero this is the point one zero and and a one right so four one should be the point that it it should pass through so naturally let us see this one 4 on x axis and this is 1 on y axis so it passes through 4 1 correct so this is this, these are 4 units sorry this is 1 unit sorry so this is 1 unit and that is 4 units on x axis this is 1 unit ok so this is how the graph will look like but you have not been given a graph uh, of log to the base 4 of x so what is happening it is going to x plus 1 so now log to the base 4 of x plus 1 how will it look like that is the next question so what we are doing is we are shifting it on x axis so whatever value x was taking now x plus 1 is taking that is a shift along this direction and shift along this direction of one unit that means that simply means again you can easily quickly draw the graph rough sketch of the graph whatever was happening for this particular thing everything will shift and let me write uh, use a green color now instead of having y is equal x instead of having this this particular y axis as an intercept I will have a new horizontal uh, vertical asymptote which will be at one unit apart and my curve will pass through this this will be my new asymptote and my curve will pass through this and it will behave like this simple so instead of 1 0 everything is translated by one unit so I will have 0 0 the values on y axis will not change values on x axis will change so everything is translated by one unit so i will have a point zero zero and this point where it intersects it will be three comma one okay, okay. so now this is my new new graph of log to the base four of x plus one now the twist that is added is the minus sign so that means if this is the graph of y is equal to log to the base 4 of x plus 1 now if I add a minus sign to this the y will become the minus y so now reflection along y axis so the val uh, what I have done is reflection along y axis uh, what I actually meant was reflection along x axis so the graph of this function should reflect along x axis when I substitute y is equal to minus y therefore the graph will simply twist itself along the along the line y along x axis and therefore the upside will go down and the downside will go up and therefore the function will look like this that's all so as you can easily see the function will look like this the point 0 0 will remain intact and then uh, point 3 comma 1 
so 3 on x will become 3 comma minus 1 rest of the things will remain intact uh, and naturally this is how the graph will look like that is all so let us go to the next problem that is g of x is equal to log to the base 1 by 4 of minus x plus 1 yeah so now we will first look at can I draw a graph of log to the base 1 by 4 of x the answer is yes I can draw and it will be simply uh, this kind of graph so let me draw it a quick snapshot of that graph log to the base 4 of 1 by x a quick snapshot will give me something like this right. so this is the point and this will increase keep on increasing ok and it should pass through 1 0 and a 1 so that point will be here somewhere correct so 1 0 and a 1 so 1 by 4 1 and 1 0 correct so somewhere here it will be 1 by 4 and 1 so this is a point 1 here ok fine uh, now the twist is this particular function is twisted with log to the base 1 by 4 minus x so wherever x is there you are replacing the values with minus x that simply changes the paradigm that is you are taking a reflection along y axis so now essentially when i substitute minus x this will be an asymptote this will still remain an asymptote and the graph will switch like this it's a exact mirror image of this along y uh, y axis so uh, naturally the point 0 1 will become 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 and that 1 by 4 1 will become uh, minus 1 by 4 1 so that also will be there so this is how the graph will look like now you are adding a twist to the problem by adding plus 1 so what will this function this thing this operation do so earlier y is equal to log of 1 by 4 min of minus x was there now adding plus 1 will simply shift these values along y axis in upward direction one level up so naturally the graph will look something like this so the point 1 comma 0 will now be shifted to 1 comma 1 that is this point and 1 by 4 comma 1 will be shifted to 1 by 4 comma 2 that is this point yeah so these are the two points so we are able to map those two points and therefore the verification of graph is complete and this is the correct graph okay so now uh, in the next thing that we want to introduce to you is like logarithmic function to the general base a we have some special logarithmic function that is called natural logarithmic function which is which involves the no, notion of Euler's constant that is e and this is very special as the natural exponential function is special so this function is defined in a separate way as the natural logarithmic function and it is defined as log to the base e of x where the base is e we have already seen the importance of e in past few videos but to add to the speciality we have some special notation for this log to the base e of x it is always denoted by ln of x where l stands for logarithm and n stands for natural base and whenever we write this as ln of x that simply means i am talking about the natural logarithm of x that is log to the base e so henceforth whenever we discuss about natural logarithmic function we we have to use this notation ln of x it is quite standard 
सिंपल वेरिफिकेशन यू कैन एक्चुअली चेक एल एन ऑफ ई रेस टू एक्स इज एक्स फॉर एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू आर विच इज द डोमेन ऑफ ई रेस टू एक्स एंड ई रेस टू एल एन ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स फॉर एक्स बिलोंगिंग टू पॉजिटिव रियल लाइन विच इज द डोमेन ऑफ एल एन ऑफ एक्स इन अ सिमिलर मैनर देर इज सम अदर लॉग देर आर सम अदर लॉग एरिदम्स वन इज कॉल्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल लॉग समथिंग एल्स इज कॉल्ड कॉमन लॉग एरिदम विच हैज टू डू विथ अवर डेसीमल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड कॉमन लॉग एरिदम इज एक्चुअली डिनोटेड एज लॉग विदाउट एनी बेस सो दैट मीन्स इट इज लॉक टू दी बेस टेन ऑफ एक्स इज ऑल्सो डिनोटेड एज लॉग ऑफ एक्स सो इन जनरल the common in common terminology you may consider when there is no mention of a log you may consider this log is to the base 10 and if something like ln of x is written then it is log to the base e of x so this is what you, these are the important things you need to remember in olden days when we used to use calculators there were two separate keys associated with this one key was ln and another key was log so in these keys they were commonly referring to log log to the base 10 if i am talking about log and log to the natural base if i am talking about ln so just remember these these are two commonly used logarithms which we will use quite often in our daily practice calculators distinguish them with ln and log and we prefer that you also distinguish them with ln and log okay this finishes the topic of natural logarithm natural logarithm nothing is special it's just a way of taking the logs with e as a base